old apes and old humans compared to modern age and modern humans. Okay, all right. As you can see, So Mark, we can't see. As you can see, there, we, this is a modern day skeleton of a gorilla. Mm -hmm. And you can see its teeth is an omnivore because the canine teeth are sharper and they have uh, and flat teeth. Okay. And if you look at the here, so. Okay, um, I did the research and stuff on the um, historic ape. <laughs> The prehistoric ape has a way, like the jawline is really long. Okay. And their teeth, they don't have any sharp canines. They only have flat teeth on both the bottom and the top row. Um, but they have a really, they had really long, like really longer jawlines than any other other the skulls. Okay. And um, the modern human, um, like as you can see um they have small teeth small teeth and over time like the yeah the ones on the bottom they got smaller and yeah From the up, this one that Mark just showed you, his teeth are his jawline on the top is way smaller than the jawline of this one. But they on the bottom, it's like the same, but this one it has like um, bigger structure than that. And similar to the teeth, teeth mm -hmm. yeah, but in the older one, you can see in the teeth, like the jawline is way bigger. Mm -hmm. It's way bigger, and like most of these teeth, the teeth are bigger. Now, um, Observing this graduation. Okay. So, what were your hypotheses or research questions based on this great observation? We wanted to know, um, like, why the jaw, the number of teeth for the O8, the O8 has the most teeth. No, I mean, he had the most, no, the modern ape had the most teeth. He had 18 teeth. The um, modern human had 16. The old ape had 15. And the old human had 16. So we wanted to know why the jawline and why the teeth count changed. Um, oh. Uh, we wanted to know like what environment they lived in and what kind of like food they had to eat, like for their teeth to change over time. Okay. Mm. And, um, our research to be done. We um we needed to collect more specimens to get a like a wider variety of apes because these apes the apes were well the modern ape was a descendant of the old ape but I don't know about the humans skulls um we need to study the genetics and maybe do like skeletons of a direct line in like the genealogy of the direct like this type of ape like the sun and the brain so they can do like that to see what the direct change is because if we do too many different too many different um specimens and like species the 